For our tip of the week today, we're going to show you how to create a custom door handle. So similar to our other elements that I just showed you for creating sashes and, and, and door and window or door panel and window, uh, window sash, we're just going to use our various tools to create a uh, door handle. Now you may ask, why do we need to create custom door handles? MarketCAD has quite a few to choose from. Yes, it does. So you don't have to necessarily create custom ones. But as you know, not every door handle uh, is available within its presets. Uh, quite often, we may have separate ones that we want to use um, or want to, to uh, uh, you know, they aren't available there. Or we want to actually show as part of our design. So in this case, as an example, you know, we've got a, a door here. We've got a lock set above. Excuse me, door handle. We've got this lock set above as part of this. We've got the handle down below and a certain design look and feel to this, right? So first off, we can create you know, this part here as, as a slab, right? So we open up the slab tool. We give a certain thickness for it. Uh, we define uh, what we want in terms of that, um, uh, um, those element, that material. And we define um, that uh, uh, if part of my door handle um, uh, component. We then want to actually draw in the lock assembly. So for that, I'm first gonna draw a circle on top of my slab, and then I'm gonna open up my slab settings, and I'm gonna set, again, the material, I set the thickness here, and then using my magic wand, I'm simply gonna click on that um, uh, circle, and it'll automatically trace that and give me that, uh, that, that lock set edge. <clears throat> I'm gonna fall I'm then going to select uh, that. Well, first, I'm going to draw a, another circle here for uh, that inside edge right here, right? And then I'm going to select that original circle slab I created. And with my slab tool, select it. Again, I'm going to click on that circle I created on the inside edge. And it's going to create a hole. So it looks like this. Uh, the next step I want to do, of course, is to... Uh, create what looks like my um, uh, lock here, right in the middle. Um, and actually, I guess I would have done that before. So I would do the same thing here, kind of selecting, again, the the um, uh, the material, giving a thickness, and again, drawing that piece right here. Uh, so I get that hole and that effect uh, right there. Then I want to draw this piece at the bottom for my um, the round part of, of where my handle is going to go in, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do kind of a similar thing where I draw a circle or I can just drag a copy of this if I want below if it's the same size and then create my um, uh, the inset for uh, attachment for the handle. Then using a special component within ArchiCAD, um, I'm going to select my cone and I'm going to go ahead and select that cone and place that and give it a certain thickness. Based on that, I'm then going to draw my uh, uh, handle here so it actually has that uh, shape to it using, again, my slab tool and giving a certain height and a certain thickness and a certain material and just draw it as a rectangle. And then once it's drawn as a rectangle, you can click on each edge here, right, to then curve it so it matches the inside curve here, matches that kind of outside edge there. Now I've got that nice... Uh, you know, 3D handle assembly. I select it. I now I'm going to go to the file menu, go save selection as. I'm going to go down to handle. I'm going to give it a name. Go ahead and save. Gives me this this little piece of information. It says it's ready to go. And now I'm going to open up my door leaf and handle. And I'm going to go over to my uh, door handle options over here for my outside one. Of course, you could do it for both sides. And I'm going to go down to select the custom option and then select my door handle. And then now you'll see that appears uh, on the door uh, based upon whichever side, of course, you wanted to place it on. So it's pretty simple to do. Uh, again, it just takes a little bit of modeling, a little few steps to do that. But that is the way if you want to get a very custom look and feel to a, a door handle. Uh, that is going to reflect, you know, something you're looking to create uh, as part of a design element versus just an out-of-the-box one that Graphsoft may not have uh, that doesn't reflect the one that you actually selected. And that is our tip of the week. So